We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on Juice and Toya. Hey, back. Today we're taking you all through a 30 minute full body kettlebell Ooh, workout, let's get all right? It. This is a great workout if you're a beginner to kettlebells or strength workouts in general, but if you're not a beginner, don't worry, this is still gonna be a great overall strength workout. For we're sure. gonna work the entire body oh, with yeah. this, all right? So I'll be doing the whole workout using just one kettlebell, but I'll be cycling through a couple of different weights. So for reference, I'll be using a 10 kilo and a 12 kilo kettlebell. And I'll be using a total of two kettlebells, but I'll be cycling between one and two, and I'll be using two 16 kilo kettlebells, all right? So for the workout format, we're gonna give you two total levels and each level will have 13 exercises, all right? So we're going 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest throughout each level, and then we'll give you a big 60 second break in between levels, all right? So in between exercises, we will be giving you audio cues just to make sure your form is correct and that you're doing each and every exercise correctly. Yep, so if you need modifications, you can watch me for those. Oh, yeah. And of course, since this is full body, we're gonna take you through a nice warm up oh, yeah. then we'll get right into the workout. Let's get it. So first we're starting off with a goblet squat. You're gonna hold the kettlebell by the horns close to your chest, keeping your elbows in tight and your core engaged. As you're going down into the squat, try to keep the weight back into the heels and squeeze those glutes at the top.
next up we have front loaded deadlifts so you'll want to hold the kettlebells with your palms facing your body you'll hinge your hips back while keeping the weight in your heels and then you'll squeeze your glutes at the top be sure to keep your core engaged that way your back stays flat during the movement Next up we have a split squat. Similar to the goblet squat, you're gonna hold the kettlebell by the horns at your chest. You're gonna bring one foot back into a split stance position and you're gonna lunge down, driving that back knee towards the ground, keeping the weight in your heels as you drive down and press up. Alright, great job. We're going to switch here in three seconds. All right, next up we have alternating single leg hinges. You'll wanna hinge your hips back, keep your heels into the ground, and then really squeeze your glutes as you come up top. And be sure to keep your back flat and core engaged, just like a regular deadlift. Next up, we have a stationary side squat. So we're gonna start in a wide stance position, holding that kettlebell goblet style at our chest. You're gonna shift your weight to one leg, keeping your weight back in the glutes and heels and keeping your knee aligned over your ankles and toes. Next up, we have a single kettlebell shoulder press. So we're gonna grab it by the bell, hook our thumbs underneath the horns of the kettlebell, and we're gonna drive the weight above our head. You'll want to tuck your chin and really squeeze your glutes to ensure you're not arching your back. Next 
next up we have a single arm kettlebell row. So we're gonna start in a split stance position and row the kettlebell back, keeping our elbows tight to our body. You wanna keep your core engaged and if you need a little bit more stability, you can rest your elbow on your leg, but just keep those shoulder blades pulled back. All right, great job. We're gonna switch here in three seconds. Next up, we have a kettlebell curl. So we're just gonna grab the kettlebell by the horns, we're gonna pull it up to the top of our chest and really extend those elbows out in a full lock. Be sure to keep your body straight and try not to swing your body as you curl the weight up. Next up, we have a kettlebell upright row. We wanna pull that kettlebell up towards our chin, driving our elbows up towards the sky and keeping our traps pushed down. You also wanna make sure to keep your core engaged as you pull the kettlebell up. Next up, we have a single kettlebell chest press. So we're gonna hook our thumbs underneath just like we did for the shoulder press. We're gonna drop the weight down to our chest and then finish right over the eyes. Squeeze your chest at the top to ensure you're really engaging those muscles. Next up, we have a kettlebell plank tap. So with this one, we wanna maintain a nice plank position by squeezing the glutes and keeping your core tight and engaged. You wanna lift up one hand to touch the top of the kettlebell. As you do this, make sure to keep that nice plank alignment by keeping your hips facing the ground and really engaging the core and glutes.
Next up, we have a kettlebell dead bug. We're gonna start with our feet elevated at 90 degrees. We'll then extend one heel to the ground slowly and then drive it back up and alternate sides. You should feel your lower abs working and the biggest key here is keeping that lower back flat to the ground. Next up we have a hold the world. So you can hold the kettlebell by gripping your hands underneath the top or holding it goblet style at the chest. You wanna keep your core engaged, chest tall, and you can drop your heels to the ground here if you need a modification. everyone great job with that first set grab a drink towel whatever you need and let's get ready to crush the second set First up, we have a kettlebell front squat. So we're gonna hold the kettlebell in a clean grip with the kettlebell resting in that pocket between your forearm and your bicep. We're gonna squat down, keeping the weight back in our heels, pushing up through the heels and squeezing glutes at the top. If you're doing this with a single kettlebell, we're gonna switch in three, two, one. Next up, we have a single kettlebell clean. So first, we're gonna start off in that deadlift position, hinge back, and then we're gonna use a lot of momentum to drive the weight up into a goblet position. Just like the regular deadlift, keep the weight into your heels and squeeze your glutes at the top. Next up, we have a front rack split squat. So we're gonna start in a split stance position, holding the kettlebell in a clean grip. We're gonna drop that back knee towards the ground, keeping the weight pulled back in the front heel. As we drive up, we're gonna squeeze the glutes. All 
All right, and we're gonna switch in three seconds. Next up, we have a single leg deadlift. So this is similar to that single leg hinge, except we're gonna elevate that back leg. So you wanna keep the weight into your heels, keep your core engaged, but if you find that this is too difficult, you can go back to that single leg hinge and tap that toes to the ground. Great job, we're gonna switch here in three seconds. Next up, we have a lateral lunge. So we're gonna hold the bell by the top and we're gonna shift our weight into one side, keeping the weight back in our heels and glutes and keeping the knee aligned over your ankles and toes. If you're following me, we're gonna switch sides in three seconds. All right, next up we have a front rack alternating shoulder press. So we're gonna start in that front rack position, again by having that bell between the forearms and the biceps. We're gonna drive that fist toward the sky, try to control the weight down, and then alternate sides. And if you're following Toya, we're going to switch arms in three, two, one, and switch. Next up, we have an alternating row. So similar to the split stance row, a big key here is really keeping your core engaged and shoulders pulled back so that you're not engaging your lower back. All right, next up is a little bit more of an intermediate exercise and that's a kettlebell clean. You'll first start with the kettlebell on the inside of your right foot. You drive and pick up the kettlebell in a deadlift position and then drive it up into a clean grip. This may take a little bit of practice, but you'll get the motion down as you keep going along.
have a kettlebell skull crusher. So you can grab the kettlebell by the horns or by the bell. Make sure you keep your elbows tight and bend back at 90 degrees as you lower the kettlebell down and squeeze those triceps as you raise the kettlebell up. Next up we have an alternating single arm chest press. We're going to start by having our hands through the kettlebells while having our fists facing toward the sky. We're going to drive one arm down, keep the core engaged, and then squeeze the chest at the top. If you're doing this with a single kettlebell, we're gonna switch in three, two, one. Next, we have a kettlebell pull through. So you wanna start up in a high plank with the kettlebell behind your wrist. You're gonna use the opposite hand to pull the kettlebell across to that wrist. You wanna make sure to keep the core engaged, glutes tight, and try to keep a neutral spine throughout the movement. Next up we have a kettlebell knee tuck. So we're going to start with our feet at 90 degrees. We're going to extend both heels toward the ground and then we're going to tuck our knees back toward our chest. You should feel your lower core engaging but also if this is too difficult you can work those heels toward the ground and then drive up from there. All right, and last we have a Russian twist. So we're gonna start in a seated position holding the kettlebell goblet style by the horns, and we're gonna twist the kettlebell across our core, keeping our chest tall, core tight, and heels on the ground. The more you lean back here, the more you're going to feel your core, and you can also elevate your heels for an added challenge.
All right, everybody, that was the 30 minute beginner kettlebell workout. Hopefully you got in a good pump, a good sweat in with us today. And as you can see, whether you're a beginner or advanced, this is a great workout that you can do at any time. Oh yeah. All right. So hopefully you found that some of those audio cues throughout the workout were helpful. If you found that some of the exercises were still too difficult, follow those modifications where you need to, or you can drop a comment and we'll try to come back to you with some different options and modifications. Yep. And if you enjoyed this workout or you're a little bit more advanced, make sure you go check out some of the other kettlebell workouts oh, yeah. that we have on the channel. Got you. All of the kettlebells that we use are from Kettlebell King. Kettlebell King. So a lot of you have asked where we get our kettlebells or where you can purchase some more. So if you need some lighter ones, heavier ones, or just looking for some new kettlebells, make sure you check out that link in the description. Oh, yeah. You will also get 15% off your order through that link. Oh yeah, right? go check it out. So we thank you for joining us for this workout today. We'll see you at, see at, you the, at the next one. See you at the next one. Hey.